Hey, welcome back everybody. This now will be a good time while I'm going to feed up today to show you all the feeder that I've been using for a little over a year now, I guess. That has worked out great for me compared to the regular feeders that I used to use, the small ones. Um, here's what I used to use. And they do a good job for what they are, I guess, you know, but once your flock starts growing, it's kind of hard to keep up with these. Um, they get empty so fast and you have to keep refilling them. Now, I still use this for the chicks. Um, I have probably 25 or 30 chicks right now that uh, I still use this for and it works great. Um, but for all my other ones, the flock has grown and I have chickens, ducks, and geese multiple different types i'm kind of going through some breeds to see which one fits me the best far as here on this homestead um but anyway so i'm just checking a couple different varieties and and things like that and also i'm um, looking at different hatcheries but i want to show you all this feeder real quick uh this thing works great for me um now's a good time to do it because it's getting kind of low they've kind of cleaned out what they had in there um so we'll go in here and take a look at it. Just bear with me till I get it. They may get a little worked up, may get a little loud, but I'll grab the feeder and bring it back out here. Um, as you see, I got some African geese, got some New Hampshire reds, some Brahmas, and that's some Mystic Onyx chickens. They're different ages. Let's go over here to the feeder. All right, here's the feeder, and I have it setting up on some on some bricks. Um, that way, it's a better height for them, uh, and they can seem to be able to use it better. Let's take this out of here. Okay. Now, this feeder is made by over easy chicken coop company and that's the address now i actually ordered this online at tractor supply um i didn't see it in the stores here locally so ordered online i think from tractor supply it was like 50 something dollars which is actually the better deal that i could find on it let me get it open here um as you can look in there it actually has a trough there uh where the feed goes down in, it's lower than where they stick their heads, so the feed can continue to go down and they can get to it. Uh, and it has this awesome lip right here on the front, um, and that's been keeping the rainwater out. Uh, and like I say, it's done a great job of it. And this is a brand new bag of feed. And that's no problem to hold that whole bag. Um, actually, I filled it up before. Well, there's probably, you know, five or ten pounds left in there. And it still was able to hold that full bag of feed. So, like I say, hope this helps out some people that's looking for a different way or a different feeder. Um, if you like, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next, next video.